In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Brothers and sisters, on this solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. salvation. Grant, we pray, 
that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord spoke to Moses. Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, Thus you shall bless the children of Israel. You shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption to sonship. And because you are sons and daughters, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer slave, but son. And if son, then also heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to Luke. Shepherds went with haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. 
the Gospel of the Lord. One line from today's Gospel, I believe, really stands out beautifully for the feast day that we celebrate today. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. We will see that pondering in her heart once again when the, we come to the story of Jesus being found in the temple when he was 12 years old as the Holy Family went for Passover. This pondering in her heart, this treasuring of the Word of God, is something that so speaks to the character of the Blessed Virgin Mary and speaks volumes about what we can learn from her. And I can't help but wonder that perhaps if something good is to come out of this time of pandemic with the lockdowns and the, you know, encouraging people to stay at home, all this kind of stuff, is perhaps that we might just have that little extra time to spend in quiet, to ponder the Word of God in our hearts, just like Mary did. Now for Mary, pondering the Word of God is not something that began with the birth of Christ. This was not the first time that she had treasured the Word of God and pondered it in her heart. The tradition of our church tells us that our Blessed Lady was actually brought up in and around the precincts of the table, of the temple rather, sorry. That she would herself was presented in the temple as a young child. That she learned a life of holiness from her own parents, Joachim and Anne. And all of that only makes sense because only someone who had already been listening to the Word of God, someone who had already been attentive to God's movement in her life by this quiet pondering, this time simply with the Lord, not just speaking to Him but listening to His voice, would be prepared to listen to the voice of God when it was spoken to her through the angel. Someone who didn't already know the voice of God would not have been prepared to receive a message like, you are going to be the mother of God. But even though she has that brief moment of fear, after which she is reassured by the angel saying, fear not, you have found favor with God, Mary, already knowing what the voice of God sounds like, already having pondered his word in her heart many times, receives that eternal word into her womb. As St. Bernard says, she speaks a passing word and receives or conceives the eternal word. And then throughout her life, Mary will continue to do exactly that. To that great day of Pentecost, when the Acts of the Apostles has our, the Apostles gathered around our Blessed Lady in prayer, the one who had pondered the Word of God and cherished it so devoutly, so intently, is the one who gathers and confirms the infant church in its faith, in its courage, in its hope, and yes, in its love. She is the one who teaches those who would go out to proclaim that Jesus is Lord how to ponder him in their hearts as well. How to listen to the Word of God, how to cherish it, and how in silence to ponder. As we begin a new year, that's probably not a bad lesson for us to learn. To take a little bit of time especially now that many of us have more time, to cherish the Word of God and, like our Blessed Mother, to ponder upon it in our hearts. May God bless you all throughout this coming year. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we begin a new year, let us bring our prayers and needs to our Heavenly Father in union with Mary, the Mother of God. We pray that the Church may effectively proclaim to the world the divinity of Christ and the special role of our Blessed Mother, and that, through her intercession, all who minister to God's people, especially the bishops and priests, may be strengthened by God's grace. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. We pray that leaders of all nations will seek justice and peace for all peoples as they lead their nations into the new year, and that all people who are deprived of peace, justice, and liberty may be blessed with God's consolation. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. We pray that the prayers of the Blessed Mother of God may strengthen all mothers to follow her example of welcoming new life despite doubts or fears. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. We pray that all young people of the world may take Mary as a model to do the will of the Father with the help of the Holy Spirit and the example of her divine Son, Jesus Christ. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. We pray that Almighty God will bless all who are working to ensure the health, safety, welfare, and dignity of all people in the midst of this global pandemic. We pray also that the mercy of God will see us safely through this time of crisis to a brighter future. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. We pray that all who are sick or suffering in any way may know the healing presence of the Lord and his blessed mother. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. We pray that our beloved dead, especially Gary Calverly, Ted Steffler, and any of our loved ones and parishioners who have passed away during the past year may be born anew in the kingdom of heaven. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. On this feast of Mary, the mother of God, let us ask our blessed lady to pray with us and pray for us as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominion of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, Wayne, our Bishop-elect, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants.
and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for this world, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her, hus her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. As we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, 
and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. invite you from your homes to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. And since at this time I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray.
We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today, of course, is not only the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God, but it is also New Year's Day. And so on behalf of His Excellency Bishop Eustrichi, uh, Father Bill Foote, our seminarian Luis, all of our parish team, and uh, of course myself as well, I'd like to wish all of you a very, very happy new year. And let's all pray that uh, 2021 will see an end to the pandemic and that we'll be able to see you all back here at the Basilica very, very soon. Also, uh, just a little reminder that uh, later today, here on our, uh, our YouTube channel, Music at the Basilica, the Basilica Music Ministry is presenting you a beautiful concert for New Year's Day. So if you are locked up at home because of the, uh, the lockdown, uh, please do join in and enjoy some lovely uh, music as our, our gift to you for New Year's Day. God bless you all. Happy New Year. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.